Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And last week we we did a lot of auto crafting, a lot of um refined storage stuff. And this week we're going to be doing extra utilities too. So I've been doing a bit of housekeeping. Um I went mining a little bit. Oh, I meant to tell you guys, the wireless crafting grid when Last week, when I thought it hadn't charged, I'd forgotten I had two wireless crafting grids in my inventory. One was ch one, so when it came out, it went into my inventory, but not into my into the inventory at the bottom. It was actually inside the other ones. So I thought it hadn't charged, but in fact it had. And um, so this is it in my hand. When it's charged, you'll see um, it's the first thing in my hand. You'll see it has the green bar underneath it and that will give you the level of charge and when you right click it you can see your crafting you can see your your system so now i mean it only lasts 16 blocks it's only 16 blocks away so i think i can go as far as here and i can get it but if i go any further tell me it's not in range so I can go as far as the resonator, which is fine because that's what we're going to be using today. Um, so yeah, so there was that. I just thought I'd let you know. It did actually charge in the short amount of time that we were there, but um, I confused it for another one. So like I said, I did a little bit of mining and now it is so much easier. I've got so much cobblestone. So much easier to now sort things out. I can put things to smelt out here. What that? Redstone. And let's put some stuff out here. So I just thought I'd start with that and let you know that I was being blind and I didn't see it. So let's put in the iron. I'm not going to put in the gold and the silver because that will mix to electrum, I think it is. I think that's electrum. So I'm not going to do that. So today extra utilities too we did do the angel ring we never we never claim that let's claim that loot chest and i want to go this way in terms of um power and generators so the first thing we need to do is make some transfers i did do the speed upgrade but i will show you how to make the upgrades so we need to make the speed upgrade, which I've done. You need sugar for that one. You want the upgrade stack and upgrade mining. So upgrade speed, increase the speed at which machines work and how fast transfer, no how fast transfer nodes moves items and or fluids. Upgrade stack moves one stack of items at a time instead of just one item at a time. And upgrade mining allows transfer node items to transfer infinite cobblestone if the node is placed on a block of cobblestone that is touching both a water and lava source block. It also allows transfer node fluids to transfer infinite water if it is placed on a water source block that is also touching two more water source blocks. Okay. I'm sure we could work it out. Upgrade mining. Okay, so basically, if I'm reading that correctly, you can transfer infinite cobblestone. So you can make a cobblestone generator out of it. When placed on a block of cobblestone that is touching both a water and lava source block. And you could transfer infinite water if placed on a water source block that is also touching two more water source blocks. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, we can have a little bit of a play with it. So let's have a look. All right, um, to make the upgrade stack, we need an upgrade base. To make the upgrade base, you need a weighted pressure plate in the resonator. So I've already made some upgrade bases, but we can do another one. So uh, there you go, so we've got a weighted pressure plate. Oh, okay, I've already got two in there. But it's working, it's doing its thing. We'll just wait for it to finish. 
There you go. And we've got an upgrade base. Um, that's not what I want. I want this. So upgrade stack. So we need gold, a diamond, and upgrade base. Uh, upgrade stack. Pull that out. And upgrade mining. So there's only three upgrades anyway. Upgrade mining. Alright, we need to make a golden pickaxe. It's probably the only use you will have for a golden pickaxe. Upgrade mining. There you go. Go ahead, Ding. Thank you. And we get a loot chest for that. So, indexed. What's an indexer? An indexer is a block that, be con that can be connected to various chests and inventories using transfer pipes. It makes GP, it uses GP to make looking in a lot of chests easy. Oh, we could have done this before. All right. Could have used it before we had our refined storage system. Well, actually, it, if we were going in order, it does come before um, the storage system. But I think the storage system should have been a bit further up. All right, we're not going to go that way yet. Let's go with the generators. So we need a furnace generator. While Extra Utilities 2 uses GP for some things, it also uses RF for more basic machines. Craft the furnace generator so you can generate some RF using various burnable fuels. Now we already have a generator in here. Because I made it to... Yes, we I made the furnace generator to power our... Um, RS system RS refined storage system so I'm not going to take this out we can craft another one because it's mm. it's always good that's the pattern grid don't want that so furnace generator all right we need iron redstone furnace and machine block do we have oh we have those okay cool there's a furnace generator thank you and we get a machine block then generators galore culinary generator there's lo there are loads of generators like 10 i think for extra utilities too but you have things like the culinary generator which uses food um, so it says here you should make a culinary generator as providing food as fuel as it is easy to do with a good farm and it converts just about any food source into RF. Explore JEI for, for what foods are best to use for RF generation in terms of speed and quantity. And then we get a pink generator which uses lots of pink things. Don't ask me, I don't know. I just, I guess that it's in case you want, you know, pink stuff in your life. I... Don't get it because I don't do pink, but there you go. All right, culinary generator. Is that it? Yes, it is. So we need cooked pork chop. Oh, we need. Okay, so it could be any of these things. So we need food around redstone and a furnace and the furnace generator. Let's see what we have. Oh, we need like a cooked pork chop or something. Or well, we can get that from upstairs. Really? Thank you. We're really going to have to connect our food to down here. I don't... Hmm. I'm not sure how I would do that, but I know I would need to do that. Alright, we want a pork chop. All right, that's cooking, because you have to double click. You are cooking, right? Yes. Oh, we've got two cooking. No, we had two cooking. But we only need one. If I access the wireless crafting tape, oh no. Yeah, it's not gonna see what we have down there, but that's fine. Uh, cooked pork chop, culinary generator. So if I put that down, I could just show you guys. 
So um, this is where you put your speed upgrade. This is where um, you can toggle redstone signals. I always leave it on always on because I don't need it to do anything else. And then you put your food in here and it will create power. So it's very handy, as they say, when you have a good farm and you um, you need to provide power. So then you don't have to worry about getting coal or, you know, wood or whatever you're going to burn. Right, so what else do we have? Claim our pink generator. Let's have a look at our pink generator. As I said, as far as I remember, it just uses lots of pink things. Click for recipes. So you can use pink wool, pink stained glass, pink terracotta, anything that's pink. I personally wouldn't use it, but there you go. Some people love it. And you need it for the rainbow generator, which is everything. At least it's, this is not making you make the rainbow generator, but there is a rainbow generator. Okay, um, what else does it want us to do? Um, wireless RF transfer. Okay, if you place an RF battery next to any type of RF generator and then place an R RF transmitter on top of the battery, any machines nearby within four blocks will receive 80 RF per tick. This does require some GP in order to work, not great for long distances, but nice if you don't want to one rise wires in a mach in a room full of machines. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, that is very cool. So let's make our, our wireless, what was it? Wireless RF battery and wireless RF transmitter. I've never used it, so this should be interesting. All right, RF battery so we need block two blocks of redstone some stone burnt and a redstone resonating crystal what do we have oh we have everything okay if you remember we made the stone burnt in the resonator because we had to use that to to make um you had to use the hand mill to make it way back in the beginning and the R the wireless transmitter we have no stone burns. Okay. So how do you make stone burns? Again, we need polished stone. Alright, let's make some polished stone. And let's go out here. And let's put that in. So we could get us... Actually, we could put the speed upgrade in here because you'd always want it to work a little bit faster. All right, speed. Fast is good. But of course, if you put a speed upgrade, it uses more GP. Just be aware of that. So if everything has a speed upgrade on it, then you'll end up using more GP. All right, is that finished? Yes, that's finished. And we wanted wireless transmitter, which is that. Also, the resonating redstone crystal. I believe you can make it. How resonating. Is this not JEI synchronized? There you go. I think you can craft these. Yes, you can. So I didn't, when you, do you remember when I had to, a couple of episodes back, I was look, I went uh, mining redstone to get this. I could have crafted it. I didn't know that until after I'd made them. Okay, thank you for wireless RF transfer. Claim our loot chest. I'm not sure how I want to use it yet, so I'm not going to put it down. The RF crusher, OPGP generation. Oh, I have the dragon egg because I yeah I did tell you guys I went back and killed the dragon, so we c we can do that as well. But let's finish this top tier and then we can go across. So the RF crusher, what does that do? Tired of seeing all those ways to get items by using the crusher in JEI, then make yourself a nice crusher. 
Okay, what would what do you use a crusher for? Uh, blaze rod into blaze powder. Bone into bone meal. White wool. Okay, so you basically use it to get other things. You get dye and string. Mostly it's, it's different ways to get string and dye. So if you have coloured things, it's usually, it seems like it's lots of wool. So when you make carpets and stuff and then you don't need it, you can... It's a way of getting some stuff back. What's this? Dandelions, yellow dye. Oh, for dandelions. And when you're making dye, it looks like you can ore double. Which will come in handy. Because usually it's one to one, but with this you can all you can all double. It's not all doubling. You're not doubling your ore. You're doubling your output. Because flowers are not ores. Oh, but sunflower you get four to one. Okay. Um, beetroot you get two to one. Iron ore you get iron grit and gold grit. Oh, that's interesting. Ingots gold you get gold and iron copper you get two so it's another way well now you're getting your ore doubling okay uh, nickel what's this silver you get silver and lead lead you get lead and silver which makes sense diamond ore so either you get a diamond or you get a 20% chance of getting three diamonds Okay, cobblestone, you get gravel and sand. Gravel, you just get sand. This is interesting. Some of this, oh, well, lapis, you get eight, eight lapis from one block. Hmm, this is interesting. Glowstone, coal. So if you have a block breaker, you can transfer things to the crusher because the block breaker is something we have to make. But you can break the blocks and then you transfer it to the crusher and then you have ore doubling, stardust. Oh, astral sorcery. Okay. Redstone and redstone ingot. Okay, so let's make a crusher then. So we need iron, sticky pistons, all pistons and a machine block. I'm sure we have all of those. All right, crusher. Yep, we can make that. All right, we will keep that. But I, like I said, I will decide where I'm going to put everything. Because we can try the block breaker and the crusher and everything else. Um, okay, so OP GP generation. So the dragon egg we have, the dragon egg mill we don't have. So let's try that. Uh, what do we need? Two nether stars, stone burn, ender pearl, eye of redstone. Eye of redstone is... Okay, let's make one of those because I know I don't have that. Nether stars, do we have nether stars? What are we missing? With with a skeleton skulls. Two, three. We need six. Five, six. Another star. That. One, two. What are we missing? A oh, redstone gear. No. We need more redstone torches. Right. No, redstone gear. That's what we were missing last time. We're missing a block of stone burnt, aren't we? Alright. Um, where's our polished stone? Let's polish andesite. All right, that's not going to help us. Po 
Put a stone, put that in. Let's make a whole set. Alright. Take you out. Okay. Maybe we should make... No, we're not going to make a whole stack of stone burn. It doesn't make sense. It, um... We'll only make stone burn as we need it because you don't need it for anything other than extra utility two stuff. So, um, so yeah. All right, mill. Oh, so you can. We've got the water mill. You've got a lava mill. That's four GP. Wind mill. Uh, one. 1 GP, and it depends. Fire mill, generates when placed over fire. Creative, well we're not in creative. Manual mill, that's the one we started off with, but this is what we want. Dragon mill, and it gives you 500 GP. You will never need power ever again. Okay. Um, and we claim a loot chest from that. So if we put that down, I believe you put it down and then you put the dragon egg, on, uh, dragon egg on top and then that will, that's all your GP problems solved. So once we've got all our, all our stuff down and so on, then we can, we could probably put that down to generate all our GP and then we don't have to worry. Um... Okay, it's just telling you how to get the dragon egg. The dragon egg. And you get it after you kill the dragon. It lands on the portal, then you need a piston to push it off. I didn't... I, like I said, I didn't record it because, one, I didn't want you guys having to sit down and watch me forever <laughs> trying to kill the dragon because it took me quite a while and I did die a couple of times. And also, I was watching a video on how... on as I was doing it, so, yeah... <laughs> But next time, because you can kill the dra dragon over and over. Right, RF furnace. Sick of having to use those coal hungry slow vanilla furnaces. Make an RF extra utilities 2 furnace which runs on RF and it can be upgraded with speed upgrades. Didn't I do that? I don't know. I think that's what I have in here. Yes. That's this one. Alright, let's just take that out. I'm not making it again. Thank you. Uh, machine block, crusher, furnace. Because if I'd taken the furnace generator out, it would have shut down our, our um, storage. And I didn't really want to do that. Uh, claim the loot chest and oh RF enchanter I didn't know you could do that want to use RF instead of levels to enchant things well now you can you can also use the enchanter to make certain materials you can't get any other way check out JE JEI to learn more okay well I've never used that that sounds like a good thing um what am I looking for? I don't know. I know this doesn't have the sorting thing. Uh, enchanter. Infernal enchanter, mana enchanter, enchanter extra utilities too. That's what we want. So you need an enchanted book, two diamonds, a machine block and three iron. That's relatively cheap. I didn't even check to see which books it used, but never mind. Um, all right, I might have to make a machine room with all our stuff in it. Let's just put it down and see. Speed upgrades. All right, Enchanter if requires a full set of nearby bookshelves or other enchantment boosting blocks. All right, so this is where our wireless RF transfer will come in handy. Because upstairs, we have our enchanting area. 
Right, let's move out the enchantment table and put down our enchanter. Uh, where are you? Enchanter, here you are. Alright, so now we can get the recipes. So, a diamond, so a diamond, you get protection if you use lapis. You use another star, you get, you get, okay, it's still, I don't understand, is it, you, it, because it's showing me different things, I don't know if I put in, Right, so if I put, I'm guessing if I put in a shovel, if I use, hold shift, yeah, that will, if you hold down shift, it will stop it from flashing through. So if I put in boots, do I get fire protection four? Boots and another star, is that going to give me fire protection four? A bookshelf and lapis, does that make magical wood? No, well that's the only thing I'm guessing. All right. So if I put in a wooden shovel and a nether star, does that give me efficiency five? If I put in a shovel and a nether star, I don't know. So we're going to have to do a bit of experimenting. Enchanted ingots, you'll need it for this. A uh, block of iron and nether star will give you a block of in iron infused, evil infused iron. Nether star in, okay, magical apples. All right, so we've got that up here. We have... All right, transmit RF energy from batteries to nearby blocks. Range plus or minus four blocks. Is this more than, I guess this is more than floor, uh, floor blocks, four, four blocks. Right, let's put that there. And then we could... Alright, because we've got this furnace generator. We've got the culinary generator, we've got... All right, let, let's put down our generator right here. Our, not generator, the battery. If you put that there, serving two tiles. Which two tiles? No. Serving one tile. But are you getting oh it is picking up from downstairs okay right clicking works wonders okay so we're getting power up here from downstairs this is pretty cool so let's let let's let let's let that fill up and um let's do something else so we can claim our bottle of enchanting. Magical speed. What's our magical speed? It's like a upgrade. It's like a regular upgrade speed, but magical. Okay. We'll make it. I don't know if I'll use it. I guess we could always put it in here. Okay, um, let's put some of this stuff away. The culinary generator, I think. We'll leave everything else. Okay, magical. Magical upgrade. So we need enchanted ingots and magical apples around upgrade speed and we don't have any of that 
Right, how do you make magical apples? Uh, apple around magical wood. A magical wood is oak next to a book. No, bookshelf next to gold. Or a bookshelf and lapis in our magic thing. Okay, we need four of those. So let's make four bookshelves. Oh, we have plenty. All right. And then we need... Oh, because ha oh, we had to make some ages ago. But let's make... Let's make some more. So we want lapis and the bookshelf in the enchanter. So we have four there. There's no lapis in here. We have plenty of lapis though. All right, so there's our enchanter. Four bookshelves. And four lapis. And then we will let that do its thing. It will take a while, but that's fine. A magical apples. What is the moon? The moon looks pretty. I like that. Sorry, I, I get distracted very easily. And magical apples. Apples around magical. No, that's what we were doing. We want the other thing. Infused ingot. The enchanted ingot. Um, gold and golden lapis and crafting no you can't craft it casting no you can smelt it but we need the enchanter to get the enchanted ingot okay so if we get a half a stack of gold and We want half a stack of lapis. Uh, all right, so that will be the next thing to go in. It is very slow though. Should we make another enchanter and see if it goes any faster? We could make another enchanter. We could. All right. Um, and what do we need in the middle? A machine block. Um, let's put it in front. Okay, that is... I know what. I wonder if... No, that's still going up. Okay, so now this is serving two tiles. Okay, yeah. So I could make it pretty somehow. I don't know how I'd do that, but I could. I could probably put the one on top of the other and then put the power on top. But that's fine. Alright, so we'll let that um get some power and then we'll put in the put this in. What did I do with it? Did I put it in Yeah I did. Oh, that's still going up pretty quickly. Um, oh, it's not working. It's not seeing it. Alright, I will have to have a bit of a play with that. Seeing that that is... Um, that's doing stuff. Is that going down? 
You're only serving one tile. You should go up a little bit faster now. Okay, so we'll let that work. We'll help if we can go back. I don't, I don't know why we're going downstairs, actually. Because we have a wireless transmitter, so we don't actually need to go anywhere. Alright, so that's work being worked on. Um, index. So let's try these. Mechanical miner, mechanical user, mechanical crafter. I've never used those. A very useful block. The miner is a very useful block that breaks blocks in front of it. Okay. Redstone, dropper, iron pickaxe. Uh, miner. Oh, you can use stuff that has durability, that's had durability on it. Okay, that's cool. Um, user. It's a useful block that acts like a player clicking on the block in front of it. You can configure it to use right or left click in addition to clicking on the block or using an item on a block. You can place items in the inventory if you want to simulate a click a click if you want to simulate a player clicking an item onto a block, like clicking bone meal onto a crop. Okay. So if we wanted to automate our farm, we could do that. All right, um, user. Uh, we need a dropper, which we have. A redstone and a lever, we have those. And a mechanical crafter. If you want to craft one item over and over again. Okay. We probably won't need it, but it's a good thing to to have to know about. A mechanical crafter. Crafting table, dropper and redstone crystal. And we get another loot chest. And, oh, we didn't get that one either. Okay. And I've just looked over and realised I've gone way over time. So, let's just open our loot chest. And then we will be done. We've got a lot done, though. All these little things with, um, with extra utilities. Then not necessarily anything that you use right now. But it's useful to know that they exist because when you do different mod packs, um, you need to you, you have more than one way of doing things. So it's nice to know what little things you can do. So let's have a quick look. Uh, oak, stone, and glass. Again. Um, ender what ender terrarium. Nether terrarium and a flower terrarium? I have no idea what that is. Uh, more mushrooms. Emeralds and diamonds. Potions. More terrariums. Wheat and a sheep pet. And enchanting books. Okay. And now we're just surrounded by stuff. Um, terrarium. Right, you hold that a second. Wireless crafting grid. Let's start putting stuff in. Alright. No, not my backpack. Done that too many times. Uh, so we'll just chuck all this stuff in. And pick all our stuff up. Thank you. Anything else? Yes. Just saw potion hiding there. And let's just put down the terrarium to see what it is, because I have no idea. 
flower terrarium. No. Can I not put it on the kitchen counter? Alright, can I put it on the table? It's a flower in a jar. Okay. <laughs> flower in a jar. Alright, great. Just what everybody needs, a flower in a jar. Well, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.